Hey everybody, it's Jay here, and today I'm going to talk about bathroom belts. Now, the reason I'm finally talking about this is because recently I saw Joey Salad's video about um, how social experiment, of course, social experiment is the disclaimer that everybody uses to do offensive things and get away with it. Um, social experiment, Joey Salad's dressed up as a trans woman. Um, reportedly he has a trans female friend who did approve of everything that he did. But while one, like even if that is true, and I doubt it is true, one trans individual saying that what you've done is okay when the rest of the trans community is telling you to not do it doesn't mean that that one trans person's voice is the voice of reason. Like, as a community, as a whole, people have... Um, denounced Salah's actions, effectively. And one person supporting him doesn't mean that he's in the right. It's the same way that, like, you ha might have a friend who's a black guy and he's okay with you calling him the N-word, but that doesn't mean you can go around calling every black guy you meet the N-word. Like, that ain't how it works. Um, yeah, so basically he dressed up as a trans woman so basically he just dressed up as a woman. Um, he made very, very, very little effort. Um, he made very effort, very little effort. And then he just went into women's bathrooms. He would literally wait for women to go into the women's bathroom and follow them in, right? And like then basically he recorded their reactions to him. And loads of them were just like, oh my God, you're not a woman. And he was like, but I identify as a woman. And they were just like, oh my god, you obviously have a penis, blah, 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 get out. And while obviously trans women have those things said to them, that trans women and trans feminine people do have those things said to them, it's much like, I think this happened a few years ago. It was it was in recent times at least. But um, I'm pretty sure it was on BuzzFeed at some point. Uh, some white non-Muslim woman wore a hijab for a week as a social experiment to see like what kind of discrimination um, Muslim women face. And basically loads of people got really mad about this because they're like, ah, so you have to like, in order to be able to, because basically their criticism was, in order to be able to sympathize with us, you have to do some kind of social experiment because you don't believe us when we talk about our own bloody experiences. That was basically the gist of it. They were like, we have been telling you that these things happen for yonkers and you've been ignoring us. That's effectively the gist of it. And it's the same in this situation. It was also the same, there was some situation where uh, some guy, some able-bodied guy decided that he would use a wheelchair for a week to see what kind of discrimination disabled people face. And yeah, once again, it was a bit of a, in general, it's the same here again. We've been telling you for ages that we face these problems. We don't need you to go and pretend to be us experience these problems firsthand and then be like oh damn gotta help those people like you could have just listened in the first place um a lot of the arguments in favor of these bathroom bills that propose that you l use your legal sex the bathroom that corresponds to your legal sex is just a big it's a big old mess and i will link to one specific video that i saw earlier by um i think it was it's not adam uh really good video really good video that absolutely destroyed any arguments in favor of bathroom builds but this is just what i think as a trans individual myself not as someone just examining the argument and disassembling it this is more of a bit of a from the heart kind of thing than some kind of really um elaborate logic doubt argument First of all, a lot of people argue that you're protecting women and children, but the problem is that in essence you're not. In essence you're not protecting women and children because regardless of whether these laws are in place, men will go into women's bathrooms. Men who identify as men, cis men, will go into women's bathrooms. Whether they claim to identify as a woman or not, they will go into women's bathrooms and they will do unsavory things there. They will 
put your women and your children at risk and all that kind of thing. And that's going to happen regardless of bathroom bills. <clears throat> and regardless of whether you pass a bathroom bill, that kind of act whereby you go into a bathroom and do sexually explicit things to other individuals without their consent is still illegal. So even if passing a bathroom bill was going to let cis dudes go into women's bathrooms dressed up as women, say that they're trans, and then go and abuse some kid, it's still illegal to abuse. It's still illegal to per- commit various sexual crimes such as rape and assault and molestation. Is that a specific crime? It probably is. Um, those things are still going to be illegal whether you have bathroom bills or not. And in reality, these bathroom bills do not afford any extra level of protection for uh, cis women and children. Um, so yeah, people claim that cis dudes will abuse the law and they will dress up as a woman and go into the bathroom. Statistically speaking, that doesn't happen very much. And statistically speaking, it hasn't increased in severity in any situation where these laws have been passed. And even like, ah, like, um, there was a phrase that I was going to use there and it's gone out of my mind now. Um, there was a article on time website that I would link, uh, to in the description on a card because I've learned how to use cards recently. Um, it actually, one person, individ- one I can't remember who it was, but someone online pointed out to me that not only does it not, not only does it make, not only does it, um, not only does it not prevent, not, bleh, not only do cis men not abuse the law, and it doesn't protect women and children, using the women's restroom from perceived sexual predators. Um, It also gives cis men a reason to come in and protect the women and children. Now, I've seen multiple um, posts recently online after these bills have been passed in various different states, whereby an an individual, be them a trans woman or a cis woman or a non-binary individual, regardless of their gender, going into the bathroom, getting harassed, getting told, oh my god, you couldn't possibly be a woman, effectively. And then some police officer coming into the bathroom. Like, these laws... These laws are turning bathrooms into confrontational spaces and into battlegrounds, effectively. To the extent that even if you aren't a trans person, you are still getting harassed. And that leads on to my next thing. I recently saw a video of a cis woman getting told, a cis woman who was assigned female at birth, identifies as female through and through, who just happened to be presenting in a very masculine to androgynous way, and she was getting harassed by some other women, saying that like, oh, you're just like some like tea slur, blah, 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 and that like, you couldn't possibly be a woman, and getting escorted out of the bathroom by a freaking police officer and I'm sitting here like what the fuck and somebody made a really good point on tumblr earlier saying that while this bill does predominantly target trans people specifically trans women it also targets anyone who starts to stray from heteronormative standards because even if you're a cis individual who's very androgynous or a cis woman who presents presents very masculinely or a cis dude who presents very femininely you are still going to encounter these difficulties because these bathroom bills are enabling people effectively to, without any proof, without any reason to, to say to any random individual that they see in the bathroom, hey, you're not X, Y, Z gender. Like, I have my gender legally changed. Um, but as someone under the age of 18, I don't carry ID on me because I don't have a driver's license. I don't have like a work ID. I don't have an age card for going into bars or anything. I don't have any ID on me because the only ID I have is my passport. And that's a bit too important for me to just be randomly carrying it around. I don't carry my passport on me. And ergo, 
if I was in a situation where there was a ba- in a in a state where a bathroom bill had been passed, my legal sex is male. If someone came up to me in the men's bathroom and was like, "Okay, you're not a man," I would not be able to produce any ID to prove my legal gender. And if somebody was to go based off what genitalia I had at that present time, I would effectively be arrested probably for using the men's bathroom despite the fact that I'm legally male and that could happen to cis individuals as well like legally speaking I'm effectively cis and therefore other people who have their legal sex matching their presenting gender people are going to get harassed especially with young people like myself who don't carry ID that's going to be a huge problem And, like, anyone who just doesn't carry ID is going to be, is going to really have a hard time dealing with these bills. And, honestly, the concept that this is protecting anyone is beyond me. And, in reality, the people we need to be protecting are trans women, are trans feminine people, are young trans individuals in general who may not pass yet, who are only starting to use the bathroom with the gender they identify as, or the bathroom that they're more comfortable using. And even as an extension to that, we need to be able to protect androgynous cis individuals, cis individuals who present differently to their assigned gender. We need to be able to protect individuals in their gender expression and their gender identity when they go to use the bathroom. And the fact that that's a debatable topic is disgusting and makes me lose a bit of faith in the world. But thank you for watching this video. That was just my two cents on bathroom bills. If anyone has anything else they'd like to chip in, the comment box is always open. Uh, The like button is down here. Honestly, the more you like my videos, the more I will be encouraged to make whatever kind of videos that you like. Um, Subscribe button over here. Be sure to like share my videos if you want to with your friends. God. I'm so desperate for people to watch my face move. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.